who's created this Skeptics Club? Yeah, the, the, kind of what inspired us was the, the presence of the Good News Club and the indoctrination of, of the kids. And we decided, uh, because there was seemed to be no legal way to remove them from the school, we decided that the next best thing would be to actually form a critical thinking club, because real critical thinking is an anathema to what the Good News Club teaches and through obedience and uh, valuing of you know, biblical authority and so forth. So what we decided to do was to set up a club that was not uh, anti-religious, but was just a means for teaching the kids how to think criti critically, how to evaluate evidence, how to come to conclusions on their own. So instead of devaluing kids and telling them that they're sinners and they're inherently evil, we're giving kids the tools so they can make decisions for themselves and, and really empowering them to feel good about themselves. So that's that's the idea behind the, the Young Skeptics uh, Club. What is the Good News Club? The Good News Club is uh, sponsored by Child Evangelism Fellowship, which will kind of give you a clue as to what they're up to. They specifically target children, specifically elementary school children. It's a fundamentalist Christian organization that uses public schools uh, and sets up these after-school clubs in public elementary schools to evangelize children uh, in their particular notion of uh, fundamentalist Christianity. Oh, I believe it started here. Yeah. And it's, is it pe other people catching on? Yeah, there's been interest other places. Actually, it was myself and a couple of other volunteers that started the club here, and we're just at the Fairbanks Road Elementary School in, in Churchville. Uh, and we specifically put it in the school where the Good News Club was. And we'll, it's just uh, us at this point. We just started a few months ago in January 2015. And what we're doing is kind of uh, fleshing out the curriculum as we go through this uh, semester. We've got a couple more classes to go. And um, then the next step will be to consolidate the curriculum and put it into a package so that we can send it out to other people that are interested. We've got some folks in California that are interested, Portland, Oregon, uh, North Carolina, for example, areas of people have expressed interest in doing something similar to what we're doing. Now, what, can you give me an example of what maybe something you do in, in these, this club with the kids? Sure. Um, the, actually, the very first uh, club meeting we had, the, the, the subject was the difference between a fact and an opinion. So we gave kids examples of, actually we asked them the question, give them an example of uh, the Empire State Building is taller than Fairbanks Road Elementary School. Is that a fact or an opinion? And help them understand why that, in that particular case, it's a fact and not an opinion. And vice versa, chocolate ice cream is better than vanilla ice cream. Why is that an opinion versus a fact? So we're really starting at very basic elements of logical thinking and you know, being able to think critically. Moving on to things like, uh, you know, like what is evidence? So what is a skeptic? Uh, uh, next meeting is what is a scientist? Specifically how, sci how scientists use uh, means of skepticism and critical thinking to be able to come to conclusions and falsifiability and things of that. So we're taking ideas that can be kind of nebulous and difficult and trying to distill them down to an elementary school audience so that they can kind of grasp the very fundamental ideas. Now, how has the reception been to your club? It's been pretty good. Actually, uh, we haven't had like any protests or uh, any, uh, actually, we've invited a number of people from, from even the Good News Club and Good News Club volunteers to come uh, to our sessions, but they just, I guess, either they're busy or uh, refuse to come to our classes. Uh, but in general, uh, we've had a good response, especially from the kids. They, they love putting the puzzles together and solving problems and stuff. As far as Rochester, do you have, um, are you going to be expanding or is it going to be right now? Yeah, we don't have any plans to expand in the Rochester area. It's really going to be depend upon um, our volunteer base. We've actually got uh, several really good dedicated volunteers. So I, you know, there's no specific plans, but we certainly could expand it to, if we went next year even, we could put it in several other schools. And if people want more information, are interested in volunteering or that, how sure. can they get well, we in touch? Have, sure, we have a Facebook page, but we also have uh, a website. It's youngskeptics.net, 
youngskeptics.net is where they can find us. There's a contact um, tab on there to get a hold of us. There's also a donate button. Uh, we can always use your money. We have expenses like insurance and buying materials for the classes and so forth, so that would be really helpful. It ain't necessarily so. It ain't necessarily so. The things that you're liable to read in the Bible, it ain't necessarily so.